SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, we've got updates at AST and Verizon and at and I'm really excited about this. I, at first, I was really not that excited about satellite connectivity, but after watching how much the carriers like Verizon, at and and T-Mobile are investing into these connections, I think it's going to be bigger than we know. And because of that, I'm really starting to kind of follow what's going on with this industry. Anyways, I'll be sure to link this older article for you guys. It'll be down in the description. But uh, kind of an update as to what's going on with AST and Verizon and AT&T. Uh, AST Space Mobile is going to start testing cellular satellite connectivity with AT&T and Verizon customers. All right, so um, like the business update is AST has been launching these Bluebird satellites. That's what they call them. Uh, obviously, they do these launches with FCC authority and approval. And that first batch of satellites are ready to start sending signal down terrestrial from the sky to actual users on these commercial networks. So that would be both Verizon and AT&T. Estimation is that these satellites can connect up to 2,000 phones at once. Uh, and, and that's kind of impressive uh, considering all of the physics limitations, the things that we've known about Leo satellite connectivity over the years. So as I'm kind of looking at this, you know, nobody is, is wants to buy uh, a second handset. Nobody wants a satellite handset. But what you're going to be doing here, and, and this will be specific for this testing, is the phones that people have, their regular smartphones, their Androids, whatever, they have the ability to connect to these satellites. So that's where the, the excitement is. And of course, the use cases like emergency connections, alerts, text messaging, calling, it's it's pretty exciting stuff. So I know I know what the end game is. The goal is to get regular phones connected to these satellites. And I know these link beams and, and things like that have limitations, but it, it, it seems like it, it's going to work. And this would be the initial testing phase of it actually happening to commercial network connections so more launches uh, another thing that i was reading about here uh, blue origin new glenn rocket to launch ast space mobile's huge bluebird smartphone satellites more launches are going to be coming and that's really exciting too because that obviously the more satellites they launch the more capacity and and, and speed they can create for shared connections which has been the big thing you know it's like can we actually support, you know, more users on these connections, knowing the limitations compared to like terrestrial cellular networks? So we're expecting in 2025 and 2026, dozens more launched Bluebird satellites. AST appears to be cooking with gas. Uh, they just reported earnings. They gave a business update. They discussed some of these things. But I think the most important thing is that now, they're just basically waiting for FCC approval. That's all it really is. It's about launching satellites. The technology seems to be very, very promising. Regulators will will regulate and then we'll know more. But this is really exciting. And, you know, when you look at the combined customer count of those two companies in Verizon and AT&T, you know, we're talking about probably somewhere around 250 million customers. Right. And. You know, the, the same thing is happening with T-Mobile and, and SpaceX and Starlink. These connections are not far away, folks. We know we got beta testing coming soon. And, you know, that's from all three carriers. The race to space and this stuff appears to be more meaningful than I think we even know. Some people may know. like they, They've been thinking it. Uh, I've been coming around to it lately. It's got me more exciting. Uh, but, man, I, I, I'm really excited to see what happens. Uh, do I care like who's first? I don't know if I really care who's first. For me, it's always about who's got the best connection. Is it going to be AST? Is it going to be T-Mobile and Starlink? I've had my doubts on T-Mobile and Starlink. There have been some some pretty technical based issues with their connection. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see if those iron details start to happen. And the beta testers will be the proof, right? We'll actually get users connecting to it and then we can kind of learn more about it. And see how it goes that's that's my concern is how viable is this connection how reliable is it can it hold video calls can it do phone calls is it going to be usable that's really what i want to know and does it allow for data sessions right that's another thing but very exciting um tell me what you guys think about all this 
AST, Blue Origin, um, I think some of those, the testing with those users for at and and Verizon, pretty big stuff here. But what's your take? Drop me a line, drop me a comment. Do you guys think it's going to be good? Do you have your doubts? Uh, hey, you know, let's get the conversation going. That's what this channel is all about. Uh, please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace.